This is question one from the 2008 higher tier GCSE maths paper, which is a non-calculator paper. So here we're given a question. We're told that some pancakes, uh, make eight pancakes given these ingredients. Jacob needs to make eight, uh, needs to make 24 pancakes. Work out how much milk he needs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw myself a little bar. I'm going to say that this represents my eight pancakes. Now. This represents my eight pancakes. We're talking about how much milk we need. So to make eight pancakes, I'm going to need, here it tells me I'm going to need 300 milliliters of milk. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to think, well, okay, well, I need 24. So what if I doubled my amount here? If I doubled the number of pancakes, that'd give me another eight. That'd give me three, another 300 milliliters of milk. Well, that only takes me a 16. I need to make 24. So if I do that again, I'm going to have another 8 pancakes, another 300 milliliters of milk. Well, that gives me 8, 16, 24. So that's the number of pancakes that I need to make. So what I can say is how much milk do I need? Well, I need 300 to make the first 8, another 300 to make it up to 16, another 300 to make it up to 24. So I need 900 milliliters of milk. Okay, question B asks me, uh, tells me that Kathy makes 12 pancakes. Work out how much flour she needs. So again, I'm just going to say that here's my, this bar is going to represent my eight pancakes, the ingredients that I'm, I'm told at the beginning. And that how much flour do I need? Well, to make eight, I need 120 grams. So what I can do here is again use the same idea. Now if I made another eight. <coughs> If I made another 8, that's going to give me 16. That's too many. So what I could do maybe is I could say, well, okay, what if I broke this down? What if I split this second lot in half? If I split the second lot in half, well, what I could say then is that instead of it being 8, I could say that the first bit there is 4, and that second part is 4. And so that means that I'd have half of my 120, 60 and 60. Well I can ignore I can ignore this bit here because 8 and 4 I need to make 12 if I'm just cross that bit out and don't need that part I've got 8, 12 pancakes and how much flour do I need? 120 and 60 on top of that. So what I could say then is that how much flour do they need? They need 180 grams Okay, if you got that incorrect, then um, take a look at these questions here. If you if you got it right, um, stop the video and, and mark the next question. So here we're told a similar type of question: ingredients for tomato soup. Sam wants to make soup for nine people. Work out how much of each ingredient he needs. So again, same idea as before. We're going to take a look at what we need to begin with. So tomatoes, we're told to make soup for six people which is white six people that that is 800 grams of tomatoes well I need to make it for nine so again what I could do is I could think about well what if I doubled my amount that would take me up to 12 but again I don't really want that so if, what happens if I half it then I get three and three well that, that helps me because I need to make it for 9 people so 6 and the 3, I don't need this part here so how much if I halved my amount of 800 well that would give me 400 and so that would give me 1200 um, next up sugar, again same idea I'm not going to write this out but what we should have is 25 grams to make six to make um, to make it for another three I'd need another 12 and a half grams so that's going to give me 37.5 and then the last one that's going to give me how much do more do I need well to make it for six I'd need four leaves to make it for another three after that I would need to another two leaves and so that would give me six basil leaves second one Amelia wants to make soup for 24 people. Again, same idea um, that we used before. We can see that we would need 
our bar if we if we need it. And this time again same idea. This would make it for six and that is going to give us dealing with the tomatoes first, eight hundred grams. Another six would give us twelve. So that would be another eight hundred grams. Another six would give us eighteen and that would be another eight hundred grams. And then we'd need six more to get up to twenty four people and that would be another eight hundred grams. So that would be 800 plus 800 plus 800 plus 800. How many tomatoes would we need? 3,200 grams. Then how much sugar would we need? Again, using the same idea, we would need 100 grams. And then how many basil leaves? We would need 16. And that would be our final answer.